Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Farmers Cooperative says it's gathered around $90,000 in aid. They want to give farmers a little hope as they pick up the pieces from the flooding. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris joins us now with more in tonight's top story. Joe. That's right, Rod and Megan. And Farmers Co-op says they've collected donations from their locations in Beatrice, Syracuse, Milford, and even Hanover, Kansas. The Farmers Cooperative in Beatrice says it's about to ship around $90,000 worth of assistance to farmers and ranchers who were devastated by the recent floods. It includes feed, fencing, supplies, and cash. They're going to have a lot of bills. Uh, their income may be down because of all the disaster, because of the impact of it. And so if it's, you know, in some ways it's only a small way to help them, but uh, if, if there's any way that we can help them, we're, we're glad to do that. They say that 90,000 actually exceeds their expectations and donations, thanks in no small part to their employees and patrons. We kind of started out with $10,000 from their company, with our board of directors and our management, and uh, then we worked with our vendors to uh, get up to $40,000 and kind of made it a challenge for our employees and patrons and they really came through. The 2019 floods have killed livestock, torn down fences, and caused long-term damage to farmland. Feed department manager Kevin Whitler says he raises horses and cattle and that his land was flooded a few years ago. He says he understands what these farmers and ranchers are going through. They've got far more devastation up there than we had, but uh, you, you get to a point where you feel pretty helpless for a while. And so hopefully this, this can lift some spirits that, that they're not alone. Now, Far Farmers Co-op says its truckload of goods is moving out tomorrow morning. It'll stop in Columbus and then Elkhorn, where they'll distribute supplies to producers. So nice to see people come together to help others. Joe Harris from the newsroom. Thank you. The Revenue Committee.